<laughs> I can keep making my shield reappear and disappear. <laughs> oh, God, it looks stupid. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm wasting my time. All right. Well, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is your host, MJ406. And now we're gonna finally make our way to the Deku Tree. As long as Mido stays out of my freaking way, asshole. For real, dude. Back off. Oh, yeah. That water hit the spot. So let's see what's beyond here. Oh, what? Ah! Oh, no, plants! Oh, yeah. Now the fairy can help you scan them. You got a Deku stick. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to left C, down C, or right C. Set it to the C and swing it with C. Whatever button you choose. When you want to put it away, stand still, press A. You can carry up to 10 sticks, but don't waste them. So, yeah. Let me just put that on for you. So, yep. You can choose to just... Whatever C button you press it to, it can assign it there. So that's what I'll leave it at. I don't need to save just from that. By the way, you can lock onto an enemy, press up C to get a description of them. Thank you, Baba. Though it looks withered, it will hurt you if you touch it. I'm not going to do that in Obby's voice. <coughs> I'll just do that for the cutscenes. The, the annoyingness will come along, unless she talks to me. Great time, Drake! I'm back! Uh, did you not put a muzzle on her? I didn't think about it. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Azat, welcome. I can't tell which one you said. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. So that's what that weird vision was at the beginning? As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Asat, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? No! What? Uh, perhaps you do not yet have confidence in your abilities. Return to the Kokiri Forest to learn the skills of combat. When thou art ready, return here and speak with me by using Z. By Z? I can't do it! You won't let me! Oh. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Oh, God. You really do sound like you're getting sick, dude. <laughs> or maybe it's me. I don't know. Ah! The little brave Asat, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Asat. And Asat, when Navi speaks, use up C to listen well to her words of wisdom. Can I just ignore her? Seriously? <laughs> Can I just ignore her, please? Ah, uh, well, if Deku Tree wants it, I guess I have to follow it. Damn you, Deku Tree. You have no idea what you're unleashing upon the world. Well, he's offered me to go inside of him, so I can't take that invitation <laughs> and revoke it. So here we are, inside the Deku Tree. Look at that, the first dungeon right away. Hey, other 3D Zeldas, could you try it like this? Jesus. <laughs> Here, this pays so much better than the other 3D Zeldas. Deku Baba, hit it when it lunges at you, and it will stand upright. Cut it quickly to get a Deku stick. So you can get a Deku stick if you slash its face and then slash its stem. Whatever you want to call it. So yeah, the first dungeon of the game, they already throw it at you. And you, if you slam its face twice, you get this. It's a Deku Knight. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to left C, down C, or right C, of course. Set it to see it, try throwing it. It will flash and stun the enemy. I may as well put it on for now, because why not? Not that I'm really going to use it, but... Well, yeah. You can do that. It can be useful to some enemies, although it's not that useful to me. Alright. This dungeon's very straightforward. It's a very good first dungeon, while very small and... Well, sometimes a little, maybe a little too small. And of course, this dungeon is housed to the biggest glitch that makes speed runs of the whole game able to be done in 20 minutes. What the hell is that? Skull Waltula? Be careful not to touch it. Skull Waltula? Look at this wall! The vine's growing on it, giving it a rough surface! Maybe you could climb it, asshat! Ah! Uh, 
Come on, can you at least get my name right? God damn it! It's a chest. It's a chest. I wonder what's inside. I wonder, wonder, I wonder, what's inside the chest? Please give me what's in this chest. Dungeon map. Press start to get into the subscreens and look at the map subscreen. Blue chambers are places you have already visited. Your current location is the flashing room. Move control stick up and down to select the floor to view. So, yep, when you're in a dungeon, you get yourself a map. What that map? Well, you can see exactly what the dungeon contains on each floor. The flashing room indicating where you are. And you even, you even get to see the items you got. There are three major items in each, dun in each dungeon. Dungeon map being one of them. The other ones will be obvious, but we'll get to them when we get to them. Alright, so I can't climb up there yet, as long as those skull watchellas are in the way. So, let me go in this door. You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing A! Oh my god! Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the blue icon at the top of the screen! Jesus Christ! I know how to open a freaking door! Oh, Jesus. Oh god, what the hell are you? Tegu Scrub, it will hide in the grass if you get close to it. Mouse the nuts, it spits back at it. Use your shield. Don't forget to use R to use your shield. Use on enemy, you can do that. God damn it. All right, let me try it again. Take this. Aha. Aha, I corn you now. Ow, forgive me, master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold control stick forward, you will roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall, probably. I can't guarantee it will work, though, if the cliff is really, really high. <laughs> well, try it if you are feeling bold. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, enemies giving advice. That's neat. Well, either way, let's keep going. Ooh, a platform. Ah! Jesus! This place is unstable. What the hell is that? Look! Something is hanging up there! It looks like an old ladder! Wow! Great observation skills you got there, Nobby. You're so helpful! Jesus! Alright, well, what did I get this chest? Ooh! I found the fairy slingshot! On the select item subscreen, you can select it. Blah, blah, blah. Press C to take it out and hold it. As you hold C, you can aim with the control stick. Release C to unleash a Deku Seed. If you want to shoot right away, when you first press C, hold down C a little longer to get a seed ready. So, every item, every, God damn it! every dungeon will have an item for you to get. So, you know, make sure you find it. Then again, you kind of have to. So now I can use, oh yeah, they're airplane controls for freaking aiming. Invertedness for up and down. There we go. Well, at least that worked out well. Oh, small chest. No fanfare for this, but I got myself a recovery heart. Your life energy is recovered. Thanks. Like, I really needed that. Yeah, see, the, the game, unlike the others, the other games take so long. They're like, you know how to play, right? You know how to do every single swing, right? Ooh, hang on. Deku seeds. These are small, hard seeds you can use as bullets for your slingshot. I mean, I figured. Yeah, all the other three cells give you so much tutorial. It's so obnoxious. Every one of them. Then again, Twilight Princess is the biggest defender. Ugh. I'll probably get to that game next. Oh, yeah. Well, I may as well go over this now. Oh, yeah, now I have this. Get off the wall. Don't have to go first person mode to fire this, fortunately. Just lock on and use the item. Oh, hang on. I still hear another one. I won't let you get away from me. Take out, you bitch. I may as well go over something. You know, this wasn't even the Zelda game I was planning to do for the channel. My main plan was actually going to be doing Twilight Princess HD next. But something occurred to me. It feels like this game would have to be known in order to understand a few things in Twilight Princess. Since that game felt heavily influenced for people at one another Ocarina of Time rather than what Wind Waker was. So, you know. Oh, God. You're a big asshole. Big Soldier, its soft belly is its weak point. You mean that? Oh yeah, by the way, press A when your sword's out and you're locked on to jump slash. You hold Z and A to jump slash. It does twice as much damage as your normal swing. Make use of that, because you know, it's great. For example, it takes these guys out in one hit. It's truly beautiful. Oh wow, thanks for the free money. Or three money, whatever. 
Damn it, they locked me in. Hmm. Well, let me do this. You use Deku's, a Deku stick to light up. Well, there we go. Yeah, you use a Deku stick to light st stuff up, like that torch. So yeah, it has its own useful properties for you to figure out. Damn it! I can't lock all of them precisely. Screw it, just activate the platforms already. I'll figure out my way. Let me get this big chest. A bigger treasure chest is always worthwhile to me. It's an item, it's an item, it's an item, it's an item, it's an item. Just give it to me already, goddammit! The compass! Yes! Now you can see the locations of many hidden things in the dungeon. So, yep. Now you can see in the map, they finally have all the chests. And we look at the map subscreen, we can actually see, well, all the chests written throughout the rest of the dungeon. So, yeah. Of course, the freaking compass will help you find whatever you need. Well, treasure chest and... Treasure chest, anyway. It'll help you keep track of your location as well as what you last entered through in a room. So, yeah. Makes it hard to get yourself going backwards. Oh, god damn it! And, well, you can find all the other chests lying around like this one. Good, I actually needed that. Good timing. Now for you! You can't walk on to this, guys. You can't get a read on from Navi, but... It's a gold sculptula. Kill that thing to get this. You destroyed it. Gold sculptula. You got a token proving you destroyed it. There's some glitches to infinitely grind that in some spots. I only know of one, and I can't really execute it as well as I used to be able to. But that's whatever. So I went in that room purely just for a compass and a gold sculptula. I would do a lot of backfire with the gold sculptulas, unfortunately. I really don't remember where they all are. I'll just have to hope. Eat that! I hope I do. If I can get at least 50 without really needing to worry about anything, I'll be happy. Because the full reward isn't worth it, but it's whatever. Alright, let's go! Oh god, just one of the heart! Uh, oh god! Well, that didn't work out the way I was thinking it would. Get out of my way! Stupid Deku Baba! Hmm. Oh, look at that. Another gold sculpture waiting to die. Ugh. I'm using a C stick, so I have to freaking make sure I do it right. Also, don't worry. I changed the controls, so hopefully the freaking virtual console menu thing won't come up again. Oh, by the way, you can press B to speed up through text. Basically, you need to basically skip out its slow reading out of the text box. Ugh. That wasn't annoying or anything. Hmm. Okay. Another gold sculptula. Don't mind if I do. I can just do this. Oh, that one. Okay, I'll have to jump over for it. Whoops. Hit my mic. God damn it. Very unprofessional already. There we go. That's three. Unfortunately, there's not a specific number in every dungeon. You're just going to have to find all of them. I hope I didn't reveal how many there are because, well... Ooh! Free fires. Good. Give me that heart that I don't need. Man, they really make sure you don't die in here. That's nice of the game. Oh, good. I found the platform below. Oh, thank God. Now I can write light spider webs on fire. Yeah, hope you, hopefully you brought a frickin' Deku stick with you. Have at least one on you. Otherwise, you're gonna be struggling. Now, don't you dare get away! Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one. 23 is number one! Wow, somebody's a basketball fan. Don't you think I'm a traitor? I'm at a Bulls fan, I'm sorry! Sorry, I not Man, they get really picky when I'm not specific. God damn. Yeah, whatever. Hmm, now what do I do? Well, there's anything I know about Zelda tradition. Oh, bring out the stick! Nope. You must always shoot things in the eye. Ah! Zelda games, you guys taught an awful lesson. You're fighting somebody? Jab them in the eye! Jab them! After you get into the water, if you hold down A, you can dive! 
I bet there are some interesting things underwater. You say that now. Oh, wow, there are. So, yep, you can swim. You can only coast along the water, though. But if you hold A, you can dive. For three seconds. Or three blanks, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. So you can't really swim, per se. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess I might as well mention. If people are wondering why I'm not doing the Master Quest version of this, I just don't care for it. Well, I do appreciate the Master Quest did to, you know, revamp this quest for people that, you know, got so used to the original and loved it so much to give it a bigger challenge. Eh, I just don't find it as fun. Stand next to this block and grab hold of it with A. While holding A, you can push or pull it. If you stand next to the block and press A while pressing control stick towards the block, you can climb on top of it. Pay attention to what the action icon says. God damn it. Shut up, I get it, I'll push the block. Just don't talk to me like that anymore. Ha ha ha. Oh. Easily the most annoying thing about this game. Nobby. Ugh. Yikes. And we haven't even gotten to the annoying part about her. The fact you keep telling me shit is bothering me. Screw you. Ow. Screw you. Give me your Deku Nut. They, kept, they keep these guys spawning because they know you'll need a Deku Stick for this. Take that hint. Use the frickin' stick. Please. Aha. There we go. Nothing like lighting my way with the power of wood. Well, wood lights, lights the way in my life. I know that much. Ugh. Oh, I thought I could catch you off guard. You caught me off guard. For that, you die. Asshole. All right, then. What the hell? Oh, God, what are those? I like whatever those are. What the hell? What are you? Go, Malarva. Look out when he gets ready to pounce. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I don't have to hold the L button to target. Right. What the hell's with these things? Ah, those things gave me the creeps. All right, well, let me burn some more spider webs. Well, that's a dead end that just has a Deku Baba there. Not gonna bother. How about this one? Okay, that's actually a tunnel. Oh, no, my Deku Stick burned. Yeah, by the way, if you use your Deku Stick to light something, use your sword to put it away and save it, because if you let it burn, well, that's one bit of inventory you've lost. Not that you need to have a whole bunch of sticks on you, but, you know. If you want to preserve it, use it the smart way. And don't let it burn up completely. Back off! Useless! Ugh. No! I'm not letting you kill me! I'm taking more damage than I should be, though. If I die in this dungeon, I'm gonna cry. I'm really gonna cry. Now it'd be so disappointing. We're almost through, though. Let's just make our way selves a shortcut to back here by the spider web. There we go. And one I have made indeed. Now let's use our lessons we've learned from the previous rooms to try to get through here. Roll, damn it! Remember, press A to roll. That's how you'll get through! Oh, God! Oh, they have, what? They have hearts in here. All right. Oh, we have three deck of bottles here. So what do you say? 23 is number one. So two. I guess you'd be three. Did you say the same thing? Yep. I'll just not spit. If it spits it, throw it back at him. I gotcha! How'd you take like that? How'd you know our secret? How irritating! It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you! Why would you do that? That's so dumb! In order to administer the coup de gra coup de gras to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie! Sorry about that! Well, that's very nice of you, at least, to give me a hand like that. Alright. Well, I may as well restock on my hearts. See, look at that! This dungeon is so short and simple. It lets you get take care of the basics, get used to the game, and it does it in quick fashion. 
I love this. It feels nice to actually feel like you're making progress early on in the game. <laughs> so, here we are inside this dark place. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like it would be a nest for something. I don't know what, but something. I just don't know what for. Oh, god damn it! Walked right into the den. Hmm. There's something up there. I kind of see it, but. It's not gonna come down, is it? Oh, where are you, son of a bitch? Hi. Oh, God! Your eye can divide things! Oh, God, no! I don't like division! Get away from me! It's the Parasitic Armored Arachnid! Goma! You got your first boss here. It's Goma! It's one of the parasitic monsters inside Deku Tree. Its eye is vulnerable when it's red. Hit it with a friggin' Deku Nut, please! Take that! And then just slash it when it's down. Oh man! Where are you going, you coward? I was just slashing your eye out! Come on! Come on, what are you gonna do? What's your plan? You're red! Aha! Dumbass. You can infinitely chain this boss, by the way, and wipe it out super quickly. The boss is that easy. They have speedrunning tactics all over that aren't glitch-worthy. But, well, yeah, they even introduce you to a boss. Use the item that you got in the dungeon as a way to weaken them, and then, well, kill it. Usually involving sword slashing. And that's it. And I see a heart there. Eh, I don't like it. I don't need more hearts. I'm kidding, of course. A heart container! Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally filled. Hmm. Neat. Also, I can only leave the dungeon via that light. Hang on! I want to collect all the stuff in here. Do they only have ammo in here? God damn it, never mind then. Alright, well. I'm actually going to end the episode now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Weird, huh? By the way, I don't think you get a map in here? Oh, you do, but you don't get a map for the boss room. Unless it's another room before something else. Which isn't common. Oh yeah, see, check that out. Now I have a thing for gold sculptures in here. They keep track of how many you slain. I know how many there are in the game, and actually it's a pretty easy number to figure out. It's not 64, by the way. <laughs> in case you got that mixed up. Oh, now I have a bullet bag that holds 30 seeds. That would be for the, uh... The fairy slingshot there. Hey, Dobby, why don't you give me info on my weapons, huh? Why can't I get that? Bitch. Oh, yeah, I may as well mention the exception. No, I told you when saving, if you started the game again, you'd start back in Link's house. The only exception to that is if you're in a dungeon. You save in a dungeon, quit and start the game back up. You start back in the beginning room of the dungeon. So, yeah, that makes things convenient. But that's all we have time for for this episode, unfortunately. For me. Come back next time, and well, I guess we'll walk into the light and see what, uh... Oh, right, can't turn the camera. Don't know why I thought I could. Anyway, come back next time, and we'll walk into the light and see where it takes us. It's apparently we're trapped in here. Is this part of the spider's plan, or is this something worse? Maybe I'm going to restore the Deku Tree sign of life? Oh, who knows? I would walk into the light, but I feel like that could be a, uh... I feel like that means I might die.